Before COVID, volleyball was quite healthy in London. It was built up on a lot of overseas players. Um, when COVID finished, we were really concerned about how we were going to build it up again. Um, but it was a slow start. We had a massive increase in junior volleyball. The adult volleyball took a lot longer to get going. But now we're at, we're at a stage where we're at similar numbers to where we were pre-pandemic. With the juniors, the, the numbers have gone up through the roof, all from every single club in London. Um, give you an example, when we were pre-pandemic, we probably had about 70 or 80 juniors total. Since the pandemic, we've had 490 inquiries to join the club. 490 people have completed an application and registration form since the pandemic. The, the great thing is we've seen a massive increase in the number of clubs willing to open up junior sessions. So we've got more junior clubs in London now than we've ever had before. I think it's amazing. I think we'll really see the fruits of all of this in probably about five years' time. We've got the numbers we've got now. If we can keep them entertained, keep them playing now, keep the competitions, if we can keep all that going, well, five years' time, we're going to have such a massive base. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's not all down to IQ. I think IQ's been a massive injection from different, way, different ways. Like with the schools, I've been coaching volleyball for years. It's always been a struggle to get the schools to take on volleyball. We offer volleyball and say, no, our kids don't play volleyball. But now the demand is coming from the kids saying we want volleyball. So now we're being approached by the schools and say, can we provide volleyball? And that's also having a, an impact on the kids and now their parents are playing. So now we're having more adult recreational volleyball. So people just want to play a game.